Hello, welcome, welcome to today's video. This is episode 7. And yeah, we're recording it in the early hours of the morning, half past 2. And, and, and uh, yeah, uh, on a Monday, uh, I think I'll, 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 I'll do this for today at around 10 o'clock. Because at least I've got enough time to edit it since I slept early. And I'm awake now. Right, hello, welcome to episode seven. Please subscribe and, and, and share the video. Let's move on. Don't forget to like it as well. So we've been busy with music and choreography, mm. but I just feel the need for us to touch on layering right now before we go far because layering does kind of form part of choreography in a way it is actually part of choreography and it's important because i think that a lot of people do ask themselves this question and maybe we should uh, deal with it now what is layering so layering is basically changing the movement to the next level so moving up progression some of the iconic progression progressing on the movement now, when you progress on the movement, there is a recommended way that manuals use and maybe mainly that you will use. But what works is that are you aware when you are using them? Because you are, it always works if you are using them deliberately. You have to be deliberate. Whatever it is that you see, it should be what you want to get based on the layering. And, and another thing is that most of the times you find us layer a movement and you find that we go from a higher intensity level to a lower intensity level in terms of the movement or you find that when we layer a movement what we move to doesn't even look close to where we started so what we want is that whatever it is we move to should look like where we started it should not change completely it should make sense why did we start with what we started with Let's go there. Ah, this one needs a video for different movements. So layering is changing a movement and you've got five ways in which you can change the movements in fitness. Five of them. The first one is the rhythm change. Rhythm change. You move from pa, pa, pa to pa, pa, pa. That's in cardio box. That's, that's a rhythm change. From boom, 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 knee to boom, 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 knee. That's a rhythm change. You've changed the rhythm. You've made it faster. Most of the time when you change the rhythm, you will make it faster. And I've seen others going boom, boom, yeah, boom, boom. Boom, you know, like changing what they do with the feet and adding a jab. Uh, when you do that, please look where you are throwing that jab. Don't do a no look jab. Boom, boom, boom. You know, team, team, team. Look where you are throwing that jab. If you look, turn your body. Look where you are throwing that jab. It shouldn't just come as as if you know you should it's always when you're doing kick we'll, we'll deal with this when you're doing technique look through your knuckles push and pull don't just you know i've seen i've seen a lot of things like that but but it's it's part of growing it's part of learning we are not to i mean everybody i also have my own things that i can do correctly and, and 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 everybody has and if if someone can point out something i'm more than welcome to listen and learn so yeah i don't want any negativity about this i'm just stating just when you're doing that layer when you're doing those things look where you're punching and all that stuff so that is that is a rhythm change right so you change, you move, you progress the movement by changing the rhythm, right? That's the first one. The second one is going to be a style change. Style change. Now, with the style change, it means you move, you add 
what others will call a spice. Uh, when adding a spice means you borrow something from a particular style. Like when I'm teaching my kid classes, I borrow the movements that I do from Muay Thai. So when you see these punches, when you see the way I kick, when you see me doing all these things, that thing is borrowed from Muay Thai and it's brought here to be made to be a class. It's not kickboxing that I do. Just that I don't do elbows and everything. I just use punches and knee strikes and, 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 and then the kicks. And with the kicks, I don't do roundhouse kicks. I only do the tips, right? So, so you borrow, you can borrow people who do high low and other class. You can borrow for hip hop. You can borrow, borrow from ballroom dancing. You can borrow from a spanzola. You know, you can you can get movements from anywhere and bring them. There is a company called Less Mills. I'm sure some people know it. They've got something they call Less Mills Body Combat. Now, when you do a Les Mills class in one class, you will find that they will have maybe, let's say, about 12 songs in a, in that release. On that 12 songs, after the warm-up, they will have a, a, a song that's based on karate. Every movement is borrowed from karate. Then they will have a, a song that is based on capoeira. Every movement is borrowed from capoeira. They will have a song that's borrowed from Muay Thai. They will have a song that's borrowed from boxing. Now that makes it that whole variety gives you all that variety of different styles of fighting. They've got Taekwondo. They, they, even they will tell you where they got it from, and as part of, of of when they are coaching. Now we will talk about this when we get to coaching. How do you coach a movement? How do you you know all that thing? And, and and the way they do it is so beautiful, you know, it's so beautiful. But the nice thing is that they do one class for three months and then they make another class after three months. Got enough time to research, they teach their people, they go through over and over again. The whole world does it because they've got millions of instructors across the world. And and, and, and they, they do a great, great, great job. I think here in SA, instructors that you will know that are part of uh, Les Mills now is the likes of Kim. Kim is at Les Mills. I've never seen her teaching a Les Mills class, but I can definitely tell you that when you teach a Les Mills class, you teach it the way they did it, they, they've done it, which is pretty beautiful. Pretty beautiful. Uh, other people will say it's basic, but there's nothing basic about that when you actually work out. And there's also my friend Coach X, she's also doing less meals days. Uh, Tony and some other guys uh, who are also in, in less meals. I also did a body combat with them. It's a beautiful, beautiful program. Right. That is uh, 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 less meals. Uh, well, we're also doing style change, yes, style change. So, uh, whatever it is that you're doing, it's always nice to to reference it from somewhere and say, okay, I'm doing this and I'm basing it on this. Because when you've got something that's already proven, it's always nice to to teach and base your teaching. Uh, it's, it's more like benchmarking. There's nothing wrong with just creating something out of thin air. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. I prefer to base my things on something. Not that I can create something out of thin air, but I just don't want to. I, I'd rather have a, a, a that kind of a base where I know that, look, this is what I'm doing and it's easier to explain, you know, uh, uh, unless you go to use science, but the moment you start punching, you're already in fighting, so you might as well structure your fighting based on something. That's my opinion. Someone else will come up with theirs. All right, let's move on. Uh, after style change, you've got a level change. Level change, it means you change the levels. You, you can go on a squat on a particular part. You know, anything that means that, like moving your head from, you know, level, 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 literally, level change. 
going down, going up, jumping, you are changing the level. Changing the level. The moment you change the level, the moment you jump, the moment you squat, you are making the movement more difficult. You are progressing. For instance, if uh, just like you, you were doing three punches, now you put three punches and pop and leave, you know, now you are changing that level. That's, that's the left hand change. Then, so you've got rhythm change, you've got style change, you've got level change. No. One, two, three, jump. One, wow, that's a level change. Then you've got a lever change. Lever change. So you've got short levers and long levers. That is basic science. So lever change means you are doing a knee strike. Now you are changing the lever. You are going for a longer lever by making it a kick. You know? yeah, it's a, that's a lever change. You have lever change even here. Maybe you can move from a hook to a jab. You know? From a short lever to a long lever. That's a lever change. From an uppercut to a cross. From a short lever to a long lever, right? That's that's a, that's a, so levers would be your arms and legs. So you move from using a shorter one to a longer one. In push-ups, you were on your knees, going. Then you straighten your knees. You've got now straight knees. Now you've changed levers. You know? Yeah, that's a lever change. That's what it means. And and then the last one is the um, uh let me go back <laughs> you know not writing these things you've got a rhythm change you've got a style change you've got a level change you've got a lever change and you've got a direction change guys direction change does not mean spinning around don't spin around you're doing a direction change you can do a 90 degree turn you can do a 180 degree 360. Hey, yeah. If you can do it, if your people can do the 360, and your people it means not the front row, maybe maybe the whole class can do the 360, and you can teach it well. Yes. But in kick, you have to be doing spinning kicks to do that kind of a direction change. Anyway, so a direction change in a simple move would be a cross here move, cross there move, cross here move. Cross then that direction, cross here, change direction, go that side. You know, change direction, go that side. Boom. You understand? Yeah. You can have a hook here, jab hook here. I want the direction change. I can have a hook here, then jab hook in front. It's the same thing. I can have a hook here, turn, move with my partner, jab hook. You know, it's more like you perceive as if your person is moving around jab hook right i always do my class fighting with one person imaginary one person so when i change direction i'm actually moving with them but now the footwork of fighting and the footwork of aerobics we haven't really gotten to that point where we put that nana those nice angles when you're doing aerobics which is the next thing i want to do in my class is to do those angles when i'm moving instead of just Walking, I'd rather have those nice uh, fighting angles so that to create a more fight feel like a, 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 a situation that feels like almost like a real fight. And it's going to take a bit of time to get there because it also took me time to get to where I am now, where I'm able to create combinations using different types of punches and, and different types of spikes. Let me just use that term. Yeah, so yes, that's it. Uh, that's layering, guys. That's what layering means. It means changing the movement and, and making it, taking it to the next level using these five things. One, rhythm change. Two, level change. Three, liver change. Style change. And direction change. So I, I, I don't know if there's anybody that has got a question, but I'm, I am going to record another video where I will be in the garage 
and I'm going to go through each and every uh, type using cardio box uh, uh, to demonstrate what we just spoke about and yes man that's that's about it for today's video thank you very much please remember to do the algorithm change like the video share the video comment on the video on that note thank you very much i love you